Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Scott Mendenhall. We love one wheels and doing life with a lot of different friends. Today, we've got our hands on these things. This is the WTF, no, TWF, what is it, Lil? WTF. WTF rails from Flow Life. I'm stoked on this. Are you noticing, are you noticing, hold on. Let's just, in case you don't notice the difference in the stock rails, let's get a set of stock rails. I'll be right back. These are my medal for winning our Christmas race around here. Yes, we hijacked the idea from what One Wheel gave away in the race for the rails last year. Nunchucks. But these are a set of rails that we had that we just sawed down the middle. Look, it's straight. I mean, it's just straight. Get that? It's just straight. Curved. Cur it's angled up here, angled up here, and angled up here so you get more clearance. So I, I can't wait to ride this to see how it feels. Anytime I can have an edge in our races around here, I'm all for it. And we have not made any rules about it has to be stock in any of our races. Now maybe after this video we will, but hey, Let's get to the build. We're gonna not show you the build because my gosh, you get it. Just tear apart your XR and rebuild it using these rails here, okay? That's what we're trying to do. I'll let you know how easy that build is, how much of customizations you have to do to your parts to get it on here. I'm stoked about this and I'm stoked about changing the tire. We're gonna, I mean, we're doing it all here, okay? We're gonna grab this tire right here, not this one, but I should, while we're here, talk about it. These both are Burris tires. This is just Burris. It's a normal go-kart tire. Cool. This one is Float Life's Burris collab, and this thing shreds the trails so good. Like, I, I get into those modes of I, I put on a tire and then I'm like, oh, I want the other tire. I'm, I'm ready to put on this Burris. That tire, it's still wrapped. I'm supposed to put it on and give it a go. It's a new tire from Hoosier, but I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm putting this one on. We also have a growler to put together. We got lots of things to do around here. We're stoked on this one. Hey, by the way, if you're not watching the race that we've got going on in San Diego, South Dakota, you're missing out. So you should subscribe to the channel and watch that. At the end of it, we're gonna announce a winner that we're gonna give a one wheel pint to. And the way you get your name in the running for the one wheel pint is you find the video that's titled giving away three one wheel pints and drop a comment that would make us laugh on there and we'll pick you. So good luck. I think we have three weeks left in the race, so you're not too late. But subscribe to the channel, find it. Nonetheless, I'm building it. I've got my, my apron on to build. I'm stoked, I'm stoked that it's gold because I am the most winningest athlete around here in all of our one-way races. How do you feel about that, Lil? You're the what? The most winningest. Winningest? You should come up with something, a legitimate way to say that, and then maybe it'll be legit. What would you like? Well, you're, I win sometimes too. But have you won more than me? No. No, so I'm the most, <laughs> that's why I get the gold. Gold. Why? Because I won. How many gold items have you gotten? Not enough. Most winningest right here. turn on so the build was successful so we're pretty stoked to get this thing out on the street but visually I don't know if it's the golden rails that are just but it pops it looks so good flow like great job on a new concept uh, a new way to ride a new way to flow I love in the community of one wheel where there is ingenuity thinking outside the box let's see what we can develop and put together this is one of those things now does the ride change does it make you enjoy the ride more? All right, let's take this outside and ride! I'm not gonna lie, the voiceover is happening 
days after my first ride here and I have put over 100 miles on it. We've shot races with it. So I have a lot to say on this build. One, I already said it previously, but great job on Float Life for creating this. Do I like it more than the standard rails? No, it's a totally different ride. I love it though. Like there aren't very many complaints I have about it. I do have a few uh, adjustments or thoughts to it, but the overall ride is tremendous. It is fast. I pull out the app at some point while filming this portion and the I don't know if you've ever seen it where you're approaching 19 miles an hour like at 18 17 it blinks so it's telling you on the app you're going really fast and then you just blow past 19 miles an hour uh, and approach 20 21 22 with no pushback I'm gonna be really honest I stopped there I, I didn't want to fall on camera <laughs> And I didn't know if I would know what pushback felt at that speed, but here I am cruising effortlessly with these rails. I love the lower center of gravity with the front and back foot pads down. That just makes carving, you just feel like you get really deep into the carves. Be careful, however, if you get too deep into the carves, you do catch the corner of the rails because you're closer to the ground. We let Lily get a chance at riding these and she totally plowed the nose of it into the ground because you're, you're I don't know the actual measurement, but you are much closer. You can just see the difference in this as well. In a great pairing, a great marriage of the these rails, the WTF rails with the Burris Float Life collab. Oh man. It just, it was the right wheel for this setup. I got, I mean, I got nothing but love for it and I'm stoked on this. But now, to be honest with you, I'm after a stock one wheel because I don't want to change this, but I still want that option of the stock one wheel because of the higher clearance that I, I will speak on after you, this stop at this produce section on my street. All right, gonna stop and get some produce here. Look at this. Fresh produce, locally grown, Rolling Hills Ranch. I've never done this before. I was out on a run the other day and I was like, yes, please. So, we got broccoli. We're gonna take that. Definitely gonna take some of those. Probably some of the, what? I don't know what this is though. Pretty slick, you take the cash and you stuff it in, stuff the cash. And we got fresh vegetables and this ride. That ride is amazing, it really is. Like I, 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 I'm going to take it off road when we get back to the house here with the produce in my bag. The, the, one of my complaints is nothing to do with the homebrew rails. If you're wondering what the WTF stands for, wow, they're fast. <laughs> That's what it stands for. But I left on my Sure Stance foot pad the, the biggest increase that you can get on the foot pad, and it just made me feel like I was leaning forward the opposite, opposite of elevate mode. And I have since replaced the back foot pad with the stock foot pad that just had no real incline in the back so it's more level that's that was my fault I, I probably should have thought of that before this video to drop it back down to level and once I did that boy did it change the ride again for me a very enjoyable ride on the street oh my goodness it is it is so much fun we have shot um, a few races that'll air a couple months down the road and it proves to be a, a, a very great adversary towards the other one wheels out there in certain conditions. It does, however, come with limitations. And the limitations uh, uh, you're gonna learn here as we get back to 
our house and we hit the trail systems, you're going to be able to see some of those. If you're after a treaded tire, this is a great treaded tire. The Float Life collab with Burris. It's, it's built from the ground up for your XR. It's not a go-kart tire that they slapped on here. It carves so great and it bites in trails. It's, it's a great one where you ride on streets and ride on trails. And it's one of the closest tires to the stock Vega where it's more of a flat middle to a rounded edge. If you've seen any of our videos on the Burris collab with Craft and Ride for the Pint, it is a it is a rounded tire all the way around. There's not much flat in, in it, which brings the carving way up. And and it still bites in trails. So it's it's just different. These tires are all different and it's great to get a chance to ride them. This one is the closest in my opinion to the Vega. Now you're going to start to see some of the limitations here and this is where there's some correction on my part maybe on how to ride through here but as you watch that nose gets really close and as you're on uneven terrain it it has the potential to get hooked up in the uneven trail systems and, and again this is not a groomed trail system around here uh, since filming this we've groomed this section a lot more and it's always a work in progress but you're gonna see here where I'm gonna go into a divot and then the front nose is gonna hit and there you go that that's it, it it's over we, we stalled out there's no like getting it out of there which was a, a bit frustrating that was some of my concerns there with how low that is in the front now I either built it wrong but we'll move it to where it's a little bit easier. We'll just keep riding this trail here, but my concern is I'm gonna hit these stumps. I have learned since then how to compensate some of those things. This thing bombs downhill trails spectacularly. It's going up the trails that you lose a little bit of that bite and a little bit of that clearance on uphill. So you gotta learn how to ride just slightly different, modify your style a little bit. And this is in my opinion, Bodhi, who these rails are made in honor of his win earlier this season in the the race for the rails. I, he probably rides this more or better than I do, so maybe he'll drop a comment on here or something. But overall, are they worth it? Are they worth the sale price of $420.69? Yeah, <laughs> you're going to love it. Go pick up a set change it out you will not be disappointed thanks for watching we got more stuff dropping soon give us a subscribe give us a thumbs up drop a comment on what you would like to know about these rails and we'll talk to you about them later guys